Hey, how's it going guys? This is Mo here and motion is something that is very enjoyable to watch. I actually started it when I first started using After Effects. I actually learned about these smooth transitions and applied them to almost every video that I made in the beginning. And these are some examples that I'm showing you right now, but you can definitely use this to any aspect of your filmmaking, any way you want. Anything that involves motion, you can apply this smooth transition to it. And believe it or not, it's going to make a great deal amount of um, improvement to your video. It's really not that hard to do. So I'm going to go into After Effects right here. And then just make a little simple composition, 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to add a, a layer on top of that, a little solid, so I can use my background. Okay, the white one is good. And I'll make a, a shape to use as my... Okay, I think a square is fine. That looks good. I use blue. Blue's nice, nice color. All right. So with smooth transitions, or the two smooth transitions I'm trying to do right now is change the the motion between two uh, keyframes. Now, what a keyframe is is that. When you go to set a keyframe for um, position, scale, rotation, opacity, it's really setting a point in time in which um, you keyframe or um, put the, the certain um, parameter that you're going to change over time. So let's say I'm going to change this, the position of um, the box right here. I'm going to set a keyframe at zero seconds. I'm going to skip over two seconds where the position of the box is going to actually change. I'm going to move it to the right like this now over this timeline or between these keyframes the position has changed and after effects usually does is track this change so what i like to do is before you usually have just a simple box movement that looks really boring in my opinion so to spice that up a bit you're going to select these keyframes and what i like to do is hit function f9 and this changes these keyframes into easy ease keyframes and what that really does is just smooth out the transitions because before if you can take a look at the graph look how boring it looks it looks like a box now let's say if i actually um change them to easy ease frames keyframes sorry you're going to tell that it looks a bit more smooth a bit more um friendly in my opinion so once you do that make sure to select these keyframes or if you don't have uh, if you're on Mac or really don't want to use the, the key command just head over to animation keyframe assistant and easy ease and that does the same exact thing now have these keyframes selected for the position which is what I'm changing in this box right here and over to the graph editor like I showed you before the curve right here looks a bit more, uh, looks really smooth if you want you can leave it as is it looks really nice in my opinion but we're not gonna settle for that we're gonna push it a bit further so head over to the ends of these of this curve, the endpoints where it intersects this line right here, and you're gonna see that you're met with these two strings. Now pull these strings to the left or to the right until the influence is at 100%. And once it's at 100%, you're gonna see the change in the position of the box look a bit more smooth and a bit more cinematic, just like that. You see how much better that looks as opposed to what we had before. If you want, you can make do it on both sides, and you'll get effect like this looks really nice it starts off really slow and then it just jerks and then it slows at the end really nice you can do this with uh, rotation you can do this with opacity with really any um, parameter of the box or whatever you're trying to do you can do those with text like I showed in the beginning of my video the examples I showed it really is up to the creator whatever you decide to do you can really change it you can even change the scale um, I'll show you that one real quick um, like I did before, just set a keyframe. I'm gonna remove the keyframe of rotation, uh, excuse me, of the position just to make it a bit more clean. So at the beginning, I'm gonna set the scale to 100%. I'm gonna head over two seconds into the video and I'm gonna scale it up a bit like that. And if you want, you can change the anchor point of, um, of this box by going to transform anchor point and changing the anchor point until it fits in to the center of this box because uh, if I didn't change it, it would look a bit off and really not nice. So I just until it's with the center, like so. 
and that looks about right okay so once you're done with that at two seconds after the video I increased my uh, box like this and if I play it back for you without the easy ease keyframes just looks like a normal box getting bigger so select it like I did before hit function F9 or head over to animation and keyframe assistant and easy ease head over to the graph make sure you have keyframes selected and change the endpoints until they're 100% influence now when I play it back for you it looks a lot nicer now you can extend this over a greater period of time and get an even smoother animation but that's really up to you use it play with it make some awesome content with it really helps when I first learned that used it in almost every video I made and really helped a lot hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you guys have it catch you guys in the next one peace